so clean Look at me go, yeah, get on my team Been on a roll, I got what I need Look at me, I go, look at me, I go Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this professional typography lyrics animation in After Effects without using any third party plugin. Now it's very easy to create and you can use these kind of animations in your lyrics video or your explainer videos or wherever you want. So let's see how to make this. So I'm in After Effects and before we begin, I have already imported a couple of these textures. So these are just some free texture which I downloaded from Unsplash. So just go to unsplash.com and then search for newspaper texture. After that, you can download any of these that you want. I'm using this one and you can use this as well. Just download whatever textures you feel like. And after that, import them in After Effects, then you are ready to go. So after you have your textures, you can also import your songs, which has some nice lyrics, or you can also use any music that has beats on which you can sync your words. For this example, I'm not going to use any music because you guys won't be able to hear it, but I'm going to show you all the steps that I used in order to create this video. So after this, you can import your song, but I'm going to skip that part and we are going to straight go ahead and make the composition. So let's create the new comp. And the basic idea is that we are going to create a very long composition in which we have all our text like sync to the music. And after that, we can animate them all at once. So first, let's create a composition. Let's call this one lyrics. For this example, I'm going to make a very long horizontal comp, but if you want to create a vertical composition for Instagram Reels, then you can change the height. But for this one, I'm going to change the width only. So instead of 19, 20, we are going to just multiply it by five. So it will give us a very big composition. So this will be 9600 by 1080. Frame rate 38 pace, duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. So here you can see we have our very big composition. Now first we are going to create our solid. So right click new, let's add a solid, which is going to be our background. For the color, it's up to you. You can pick whatever you want, but I'm going to pick this really nice green color. Let's click on OK. So once you have your background, we are ready to import our textures. So just select whatever one of these. I'm going to drag it over here. Now it's quite big, so I'm going to press R. Let's rotate it by 90 degree. Now we can place it to this endpoint. So using the align panel, I'm going to place it to this side. Also, I'm going to change its blending mode to difference. So it will give us like really nice colors. You can see it will blend nicely with our background. In case you're not able to see the blending modes, then you can click over here. Now I'm going to drag my second texture, which is this one. Let's drag it over here. Again, it's quite big. So I'm going to press R. Let's rotate it by 90 degree. Now let's place it right next to each other just place it over here again we can change this to difference there you go now we have this background let's select this press ctrl d and we can place this one to the side so we have covered whole of this composition with this really nice textures now we are ready to add our text for the text i'm going to use these lyrics which are the exact lyrics that i showed in the preview video so if you have like any track you can just copy their lyrics and just write them in notepad because we are going to refer to them once we start adding text so just simply click and just type whatever lyrics you have. So I'm going to type the first letter, which is I. Now I'm using this abolition regular font, but it's completely up to you and use whatever font you want. Let's select this, hold on the control key, double click on this so that the anchor point is in the center. Now it's quite small, so I can make it like really big somewhere around here. Let's just make it to this big. Now we can align it in the center. Perfect. So here we have our first text. I want to have a little bit of drop shadow to this. So let's search for drop shadow. Let's drag it onto this texture. Color, we can just make it like a little bit this pale whitish color. Let's click on OK. Now distance, we can increase a little bit. Opacity, we can set this to 100. Maybe a little bit less. Now we can select this, press Ctrl D quite a few times. So it will create this very nice depth to this. Now select the text tool and we are going to type our next text. For me, it's D-A-M-N. Now again, I'm using the lyrics that I have for the song. Let's just increase it to this size and I'm going to place it over here. Also, I want to have a background for this. Just simply select the shape tool and let's draw it over here. Stroke, we can set this to zero. Color, we are going to change it to this color, which we have over here. Let's place it below our text. And now we can select both of them and let's just align them in the middle. In case you are not able to see the align panel, then you can go to windows and from here you can enable this. Now we can select both of them. Maybe let's select the text. We can make it a little bit smaller. Let's make sure that its anchor point is in the center. Let's make it smaller. Perfect. Now we have this text. Let's press R. 
now let's rotate it let's add some drop shadow to this as well this time we are only going to like increase this and just increase the softness a little bit so now we are done with our second text as well now the animation part is also quite easy all we have to do is just move these away then you can just simply play and whenever you hear your word you can just bring these layers closer to your timeline so if you suppose if you have a track and your text comes over here then you can see it will be like this so before we continue if you enjoy my work and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files exclusive templates and all the other advanced vfx and cgi tutorials that are available only on patreon so make sure to check them out link for that is in the description now let's continue now once you have this we can duplicate these two layers and add more text as well so you can sync these layers according to your lyrics so we can move like little bit ahead so if we have dam and then after that we can move our second text over here let's press r we can rotate it to the other side there you go now we can change the text again so i'm referring to the lyrics so here we have our second text maybe let's press s scale this down a little bit it's up to you you can play around with the composition of it and just align them wherever you want now if i press play we have our first text then the second one comes in again you can sync them according to your music wherever you have these lyrics so now you can see we have this one now we can keep on adding more text as well now for the next one we can just simply select the pen tool and just draw a very random shape it does not have to be perfect let's make it black now let's select one of this text let's press ctrl d and let's just move it over here let's change its color to white or we can change it color to this exact color now let's select this press r we don't want to have any rotation and let's just type our next text which is cold and let's increase its size just place it over here now on top of this we want to have typography animation or typewriting effects so let's search for typewriter let's just drag it onto this now we can select this press u so we have this keyframe and if i bring it closer you can see we have our typewriting effect again you can play around with its timing depending upon your lyrics so now if i press play you can see we have this thing now let's add more so select the text tool and i'm going to type um and let's change its color to black now we can select this and let's just scale this up this time we can move its anchor point to the top so let's select this hold on the control key and just move it to the top let's place it over to this side now we can animate it by pressing s let's add a keyframe and in the beginning we can uncheck this and just set this value to zero so that we have the scaling animation now you can select these keyframes press f9 let's go to the graph and let's change it to look like this now if your graph looks different then make sure you're using the speed graph not the value graph now we can press ctrl d and let's just move our next text down below which is so let's change its color as well now if i press play we have our text coming in maybe we can select both of these and let's just move them a little bit in the middle now again we can select these two layers and press ctrl d just move them over here we are basically reusing the elements that we have already created let's type our next text which is clean let's select the background and we can quickly change it so let's select it and i'm going to change its color to let's say this green now we can animate it as well so what we can do is we can select this and let's press s let's add a keyframe for scale and in the beginning we can uncheck this and just set this x value to zero so you can see we have the scaling animation now what we can do is we can select this layer and change this track mat to this layer and we also want it to be visible in the background so now our text will be visible only when we have this revealing animation select the keyframes press f9 let's change the curve to look like this and we can play around with this timing there you go now in the same way you can like keep on repeating and keep on adding more text till you have this whole composition covered up with these nice texts and i'm going to quickly show you the final output that i made so this is the final composition that i used to create this video and if i press play you can see we have all of these texts coming one after other and they are perfectly synced with the music so you can see i have filled the whole composition with all of these lyrics coming up so if i zoom in you can see we are repeating the same step we are 
reusing our element so we created these text over here and then we are reusing them now the main thing that you can take away from here is how you align your elements how creative you can get with your composition so for example i wrote these text or these lyrics inside this full text which is go so it's completely up to you. you can be as creative as you want you can play around with the typography their position their colors and whatever you want now before we continue if you guys are new here or you're watching without subscribing then make sure to do that because i upload tutorials related to after effects and motion graphics like these in case you don't want to miss them out then you can subscribe and press the bell icon as well now let's continue so once you have this we are ready to animate our final video so for that what we can do is we can create a new composition this time we can call this one main or let's just call this one final and for the width we are going to make it 1920 by 1080 if you have a vertical composition then you can change it to like 1080 by 1920 let's click on ok now inside this composition we are going to drag in our final comp which is this one now let's quickly enable this collapse transformation option in case you are not able to see it then make sure you click over here once you have this we are able to see this composition but we want it to start from this side so just place it to this angle till you see our text now all you have to do is just press p let's add a keyframe let's press s let's add a keyframe now let's press u and in the beginning we can just simply scale this up and just align it so that this is in the center now all you have to do is just move little bit ahead and as soon as your next text comes up so for example somewhere around here what we can do is we can just simply zoom in and just bring that text in the center you can do one more thing let's enable the title action save so that we can place it in the middle there you go now we have this and it will zoom in to this now as soon as the next text comes in just move it in the middle like that and it will automatically create the keyframe we can maybe scale this out now after that we can move a little bit ahead so we have the next text and let's do one more thing let's add a keyframe for scale and let's move a little bit ahead and we can bring this one to this center and also we can scale in a little bit now let's move a little bit ahead and as soon as the next text comes in we can just move it to this side and we have this coming up now once we have this we can move to the next text as soon as it comes up so let's bring it down so we have now so now you can see we have this text coming out so again we can add keyframe for scale let's move it till this point now what we can do is we can scale down a little bit and just place it place this text in the middle somewhere around here let's just place it in the middle and let's just scale this down as well there you go now we have this and let's move again now we can move it over here let's move and just bring it to the center we are basically going to all of these texts one by one and making sure that they are somewhere in the center or in the composition area so now we have our next text which is go so over here we can just simply scale it down but make sure that you just copy this last scale and before changing it just paste it so that we don't have any scaling animation over here and it will scale down only at this point let's just scale this out and just place it so that our next text is in the middle now in the same way you can like keep on going and keep on moving your composition to wherever you have other text coming up and at last what you have to do is select all of these keyframes let's press f9 let's go to the graph editor now if your graph looks different you can change this to the speed graph not the value graph now select all of these keyframes and we are going to change their easing to look like this so just bring these handles closer till you have something around here now at last if i press play you can see we have this very nice motion and all of these texts are coming up one after other so this is the exact thing that i did in order to create this full animation you can see all of these lyrics are coming one after other and it looks very professional so just keep on going and keep on placing other text in the middle so here is the final composition that i used to animate so if i select this press u you can see all of these keyframes are the same one i also animated rotation at some places but it's very minimal so for example you can see we have this very minimal rotation and after that it's barely zero at every other keyframe so at last if i press play you can see we have all of these texts and they are synced to the music as well and they are coming one after each other 
So this is how you can create these professional typography lyrics video. And the best thing is that you don't have to like animate everything. You can just make a really big composition like this and just add all of your text. And all you have to do is just play around with the composition. Just align them nicely in your scene. And after that, animate the whole thing at once by simply using the position and scale keyframes. Now, if you create something using this technique, then make sure to share it with me. You can tag me on Instagram as well, motion underscore nations. Now, if you want to check out the full project files with all these animations, then those are available on my Patreon page. So if you're supporting me over there, then you can download it from there. And if you're not, then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files, exclusive templates and all the other advanced VFX and CGI tutorials that are available only on Patreon. So make sure to check them out. Link for that is in the description. And with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.